Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Homeroom Announcements, my Friday podcast type video where I give thoughts and updates about the School Zone channel. I thought I'd do something a little different for today's video. We're going on a field trip. <laughs> With what I'm going to talk about today, I don't have a whole lot to throw up on the chalkboard, so instead, I figured we could take a drive while I chat about an important tool in a YouTuber's toolbox. And what a better game to take a drive in than GTA 5. Love this game. We'll have to see if I ever make it into a series on the school zone, but it can definitely be a fun backdrop while I wax philosophical. So this is one of my fave cars in the game, and I figured I'd uh, repaint it in the school zone colors, you know, just for the fun of it. So hop in, buckle up, cause we's off. You'll have to forgive me if my uh, driving's a bit off here. I literally haven't played this game in about a year. Been uh, so busy ramping up the channel and playing other games, but it's all good. We'll just take a chill cruise up the Pacific Coast Highway here. All right, slow pokes. Come on. Out of my way. We'll just have to slip on past you. All right, so in today's homeroom announcements, I wanted to chat for just a moment about the art of collaboration. My channel's only been up for about a month or so, and I'm already getting some requests for collabs. And honestly, I'm totally humbled by that. I didn't think I'd be collabing with anyone for many more months, so I was honestly a, a little unprepared, but I'm not one to shy away from opportunity. Ha, <laughs> we just drove past a cop. Don't you wish the cops would ignore you like that, IRL? Anyway, it's a little more challenging for gamers to collab than other channels for a few reasons. For one, the footage comes from the video games themselves. So it's not like there's a whole lot of ability to integrate skits or guest cameos. But the main challenge is the majority of gamers don't show their face. I don't know the exact statistics, but I'd bet at least half, if not more, don't. I'm sure it's got something to do with being shy. Admittedly, I'm a bit shy. Still getting used to the whole platform and all that, but I think it's mostly due to the fact that the video game itself is the main character, so to speak. Too much emphasis on the gamer and not on the game, and it more or less turns a gaming channel into a comedy, reactionary, or review channel. I like to think of YouTube gamers a lot like sports announcers. If you're watching sports, you don't mind hearing the sports commentators in the background, you know, hyping up the plays and explaining things but too much face time with the sports announcer and the sports fans can get really annoyed. I mean, they tuned in to see the game after all. Can you imagine if some zany kid with a foreign accent was up in the corner of your favorite sports channel screaming and peeking the microphone? Actually, that might be kind of funny, but it's definitely not customary. Sure, there's halftime reviews and after sports interviews, but I consider that analogous to the gaming channels who review games or give critiques. For most gamers, they take a back seat to the game and as a result, it makes it more difficult to do things like make appearances on each other's channels. But there are other ways that gamers can collaborate. One way is to showcase each other's channel on the featured channel page of your channel. Most of you watching probably already know this, but in case you don't, there's a tab on a YouTube channel that says Channels. Bigger YouTubers will reserve that space for their own channels if they have like a network of sub-channels. But smaller YouTubers should be using that page to feature channels that have similarities to their own channel. Not only is it a kind gesture to feature other channels that inspire you, but it actually helps YouTube's algorithm get an idea of how it might better sort you in search. And since many viewers actually do check that tab, it can make a difference for smaller channels to get ranked. But it's also a great way to collab. Not only does it show some reciprocation, but it can help you connect with other channels and make friends who you might meet someday at conventions or on panels. You do want to try to approach channels that are right around your subscriber level though. Too much disparity can set you up for disappointment. For example, I wouldn't approach Van Oss or Rad Brad and think they'd want to collab with me, or even get my message for that matter. It's a lot like a freshman hoping for a date with a senior cheerleader. I mean, maybe you got game like that, but you'd have better chances with another freshman. So another way gamers can collaborate is the shout out. They actually do this on network television sometimes, especially with talk shows. They uh, throw it over to someone else, as they say in the biz. Or they do outro-intro overlaps. 
A YouTuber named Wes from Wes Ollie Gaming found my channel and contacted me about a collab of sorts. He thought the school zone was really unique and wanted to feature it in a video he was creating called 5 YouTubers You Need to Know About. Of course, I was incredibly flattered and gave him permission, and the video turned out really cool. If you're on a desktop, that billboard should be a link right to the video. If not, there's a link in the description below. Anyway, he didn't even ask me to shout him out in return, he just did it because. In his words, I believe YouTubers have to work together to grow their channels. And I was so impressed by that mentality that I wanted to give him a huge return shout out in this video. If you're watching Wes, huge props to you brother. Creative idea, well executed, highly proactive, and you definitely made some new friends in the process. See, YouTube is not a zero sum game. Viewers on YouTube don't have like a limited number of channels that they can subscribe to, so a subscriber to one channel doesn't mean a loss to another. So many other YouTubers feel like it's a big competition, especially bigger YouTubers, believe it or not. But it's not. As they say, a rising tide lifts all boats. I got into YouTube because it's the wave of the future and YouTubers, not the least of which gamers, should find creative ways to collab with each other. Even if it doesn't involve face cam antics. I mean, if nothing else, you can make a new friend. And that, my friends, is my wisdom for the day. So have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday with another gaming episode. LPK. Love, peace, knowledge.